Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Mike or Geekermon, and welcome back to another Destiny video. So I have finally decided on what subclass to main for the rest of Destiny 2. Now I'm going to play all the subclasses because I'm a YouTuber and I kind of have to in order to get good footage and good entertainment for you guys. But I do think if I'm going to do a more competitive things like Trials of Osiris, it's good to have one class that you say is kind of your main and that you're really, really good with. I think that's kind of important. So I'm going to take the time to quote unquote master the, uh, the gunslinger subclass and see, oh my gosh, they were all out there. But I think I'm going to take the time to kind of master one class and get really, really good at the gunslinger class. Um, I haven't done this before. I've always had, I've always had numerous classes that I kind of swap between. And the problem with doing that is I think once the game starts to not go my way, I end up swapping subclasses. And that can be dangerous because a lot of times you can end up even worse off than you were just in the class that you were in. If you say I'm doing bad in Gunslinger, swap over to Tether and end up doing worse, That I feel like that actually happens to me quite a bit. The one thing that I have to figure out is which exotic that I want to run uh, for Trials of Osiris. I feel like the Quick Res is probably a solid option, um, especially because if I'm doing a carry, being able to get up my teammates or... Uh... Ooh. No, I hit him in the neck. So being able to get my teammates up really quick is going to be a huge plus if I'm doing carries because more bodies means that you're going to play better. But the downside is you have to give up Bones, which Bones of AO is probably one of my favorite hunter exotics and just gives you ridiculous mobility. So we'll see. I don't know. He survived the golden gun shot. I'm shocked by that. Oh, please burn out. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like not having that extra jump is something that you don't really realize is gone until you try to play without it, and then you're like, wait a second. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, tried to pop that bubble on me. Get out of here with that. <gasps> wait a second. Oh, give me the fourth one. Fold it on the breaker. Dang, I almost had that breaker and then I folded. So close. So close. Come on, special. Don't do this to me. There we go. Yeah, so the other thing for trials that I haven't decided is which uh, special weapon that I want to consistently use. I feel like it's going to be between Icebreaker and probably the Wormwood, which is kind of scummy, but... What a nade, dude. The thing with Icebreaker that I don't like is I feel like I hit way more body shots with Icebreaker than I do with, like, any other... Oh! And it could just be me trying to use it like a different sniper. Pfft, get that out of here. Could just be that it handles a little bit differently than most snipers, and so when I try to use it like it's a longbow. It's just a completely different experience. I hope this is a good bubble. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, stay in the bubble. I'll take the rift, yeah? Oh, no. Oh, he rezzed. Okay, I thought we killed everybody. So I don't know what you guys' play style is, but I'm pretty excited that I finally made a decision on a main. Uh, I know it's not the only thing I'm going to play, but it feels good to have something where it's like, yep, this is what I play. And I've never really done that before in Destiny, so uh, we'll see how it goes. What? So you guys should leave me a comment down below what your uh, main subclass in Destiny is. I know it kind of varies. Some people rock, some people rock two or three. I'll try to take their special ammo before they get it. Nice, nice work. And they kind of swap between those. I probably will have one that I main for each of the classes, like one Titan, one Hunter, and one Warlock. But uh, currently. Currently, I'm going to be trying to rock as much golden gun as possible. I think my reasoning behind picking the golden gun has to do a lot with the fact that I love the super 
And the, the neutral game is solid. The mobility is a little weak. I will say the mobility feels a little, uh, little underwhelming. But I love, love the uh, throwing knives and the incendiary grenades. I could rock incendiary grenades all day. I know that Golden Gun's not really the strongest class in the game right now, but I feel like it does give you a lot of advantages, especially in threes. The other reason for picking it is I feel like it's probably one of the, at least among content creators, it's one of the least runned. Runned? Did I just use the word run? Oh, get out of here. But all the content creators and all the YouTubers seem to rock Arcblade and... Uh, Night Stalker all the time. Like, I see a lot of Night Stalkers, which makes sense because the neutral game for the Night Stalker is really, really solid. So, I don't know. I know, like, Hovi runs, uh... Oh, he's still alive. Maybe he'll burn out. Yes! I know Hovi used to rock Golden Gun all the time. Uh, there are a couple content creators, you guys might know better than me, that rock Golden Gun, but I feel like it's, it's a lot less prominent than something like a, uh... Something like a Night Stalker, which you see all the time. 48. My sniper just do 48 damage. Nice work. See, this is where it would come in handy to have Bones of AO. Right here. Oh, we got him and stayed alive. Just barely. There we go. Can we get a third guy? Yep, there we go. That's what I like to see. Especially for how much sixes I play, too. I feel like it's a solid... Oh, I almost had that body shot on him. Couldn't get the throwing knife. Got killed by the smoke. That was a nice little streak, though. So, I don't know. I could sit and try to explain all day why I want to play this class. But in the end, I just think it's probably one of the most fun classes for me right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Crispy snipes with the icebreaker. The sound the icebreaker makes is just so great. Like, I just... I love when you get the kill with the icebreaker. Such a satisfying feeling. Like that. Oh, man, we're getting melted. Oh, here he comes. Let's see if I can get him before he runs in. Oh, I think he made it in. Here we go. Let's cut him off at the door. There we go. Oh! Oh, I missed one of those shots. There we go. See, I just love the left and right bumpers being so vital for the gunslinger. The throwing knife really comes in clutch for me because I end up not closing the gap enough. And then I have to use the... Uh, whoop, where yet? How are you alive, dude? Oh, that's going to be a good nade. Let's push in there. There we go. I have my golden gun, but I'm kind of trying to wait before I pop it. Alright, let's do it. There we go. I think I should have pushed the other way, maybe. If we only get one kill, that's going to be... <gasps> Thank goodness we had that third bullet. Am I right? That's That happened earlier. There we go. You get such a shield when you pick up the rift. You really got to... Oh, almost have him. Hold on. Okay, I wasn't sure. I thought that was a golden gun at first, but it was just a regular guy. That shader. Definitely. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, I think we should win this one, despite my folding at the end. Come on, princess. Dunk it. Good work. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure and smash that like button. It means so much to me, and it really helps this channel grow. And if you want to see more Destiny content like this, make sure you subscribe to join the Geek Squad. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next Destiny video. Peace.